we will now create the last section of this home page, which is the footer. If we resize the window, we can see that initially we have a two column grid. When we increase the width, we can see that on desktop it turns into a four column grid. We are using several different unordered lists here. This one has icons from Font Awesome 5. And at the end we have the address with some icons and links. And in the bottom some copyright information. Let's go ahead and create this. So we'll scroll down after our section and we'll create a footer element with the class footer. Inside this we'll create a container, so a div tag with the class container. And inside this we'll now add the parent element for the grid, which is the columns class. Since we want these columns to work already on mobile, we need to add the class is mobile. And since we want it to be multi-line, we also need to add the class is multi-line, as we did in the news section before. Now we can create our first column. So we have the div tag with the class column. And we also need to add the class is half mobile. So this will be half initially. And then the class is one quarter desktop. Now it will turn into the width of one quarter at the size of desktop. Then for the content inside, we'll add the h6 heading element with the class title, and we'll make it smaller by adding the modifier class is5. And then we'll add the text quick links and close the heading element again. Now we can add an unordered list. So we start with the ul tag, and then we create a list item using the li tag. Inside this, we add an anchor tag with the href value being index.html and the text home. We'll close the anchor tag again. Now let's duplicate this four times and change the values. So this will be like an extra navigation for our page located in the footer. Great. Now we'll copy this column, paste it in one more time, and we'll change this text to information. And we'll just keep three of these links. So it will be legal information in the first text and then job opportunities and then frequently asked questions. And we'll just remove the value in the href attributes since it has to be different values sometime. Okay, now let's paste in one more column code block here. The heading will be follow us and this will be a list of the social links. So we'll remove these values again. Like so. And now for the first one we want it to be Facebook, then Instagram, 
Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. But remember that we want to add an icon as well in front of the text. So we'll add the i tag with the class FAB to select among the brand icons from Fund Awesome. Then we'll use the class FAFW to have a fixed width so it looks nicer in this list. And then we'll add the specific icon. So the first one will be the Facebook icon. We'll close this i tag again. And now let's just copy this and paste it in here and change it to Instagram. Paste it in one more time, change it to Twitter. Change the next one to YouTube and change the final one to LinkedIn. Okay, we still have one more column, so we'll whoops, so we'll copy this and paste it in. The title will be our location, and then we'll remove the URL tag. Instead, we'll add the address tag. We'll place our company name in a strong tag, so it will have a bolder font weight. Then we'll add a line break. Write street name, one more line break, and zip code and city. And one more line break. Now we'll add the phone number. First we'll add an icon again using the i tag with the class FAS to choose among the solid icons, the FAFW to have the fixed width, and select the phone icon. We'll close this i tag again. Then we'll add an anchor tag. And inside the href attribute we'll prefix the value with tail colon, which will make the browser open up a telephone program like Skype or something else, or maybe you're on a phone, a smartphone that will make the user start dialing this number. So we'll add the number here, and then we can format it any way we want in a human friendly way as the text content of this anchor link. We'll close the anchor link again and add a final line break. We'll now add another icon. So this time it will be the envelope icon and another anchor tag. This time we'll prefix it with mail to colon. So this will now open this mail address in a mail program. So the text will be info at domain.com. We'll close this anchor tag again. Now we only need our last line, which is the copyright information. So we need to go outside of our main column here, our main columns class, but still inside the container. Uh, div. So here we'll add a paragraph with the class has text centered. First we'll add the copyright symbol as an HTML entity. So we write the ampersand copy semicolon. Then 2017 company name and all rights reserved. And close our p tag again. Now we should be finished, so let's save and go back into the browser and refresh and have a look. It looks right, so we'll just resize our browser window here. We can see that initially it has two columns, and for the desktop size it turns into a four column grid, and we have all these links working like it should. Great. This was our first page that's now finished.